the North American indigenous nations of the Southwest uh, provide students with uh, a, a really interesting example of indigenous culture uh, in a difficult environment. Uh, the um, various nations of the Southwest uh, develop a very high level of social and technological organization. All arguably demonstrate the delegation of labor and a very high level of social organization in order to maximize scarce resources, particularly water resources. In order to make this clear to your students, I think it's very useful to take a, a, a photo tour of Mesa Verde, perhaps the most famous of these kind of cliff-dwelling uh, structures. And you see a very elaborate um, set of uh, architectural principles. Uh, all of the doorways or most of the doorways face south. Uh, some analysts have suggested that they're oriented with different astronomical phenomena. Uh, and clearly, it would require significant agricultural and, and water finding techniques in order to manage such a large population. Finally, there's always that element of mystery. And it's not really clear why these civilizations declined. Uh, some suggest uh, a massive drought, and there were some terrible droughts in North America in the first uh, centuries of the second millennium CE. Uh, others suggest uh, migration or even warfare. And scholars disagree. And so I think it's very useful to confront the students with, if you'd like, the disagreement of people, of contemporary historians, because it helps them recognize that in the end, uh, historical evidence can be interpreted different ways. Mm -hmm.